What's up, y'all? I'm Odyssey's Ryan Mitchell, and we are checking in with the one and only, the Kim Petras. Hi, Queen. Oh, how's it going? You know, I am so excited always to chat with you. I feel like we're just like connected because the last time we chatted was at the VMAs where you were the first ever trans artist to perform at the show. And then you went on to perform at the EMAs. How has life been since? Like, catch me up a little bit. Okay. No, like literally those were such insane moments. Uh, those were crazy moments. I'm so happy to see you again. Um, uh, I've been good. I've been finishing up, uh, everything like album wise and uh surprise wise because i kind of have a little surprise coming i uh posted the first little teaser today of it so it's it's something no one's expecting it's super exciting so yeah yeah oh my god okay we're gonna have to dig deeper into this because (laughs) i am so excited i know you've been preparing for this moment i mean Through this whole situation, we've gotten the Future Starts Now video. We've got Coconuts Dance video. I I mean, and just to let you know, Future Starts Now is sitting atop of the Channel Q charts and has been for the past four weeks. Yes, thanks, Channel Q. That's so exciting. (laughs) No, you just had a year unlike any other. And I just wanted to know, like, when you were shooting those videos, how was it while you were experiencing, I mean, we're all experiencing this pandemic, so was there any... How's that been for you? Adjusting? Um, well, I'm happy that I get to do stuff with my dancers again because like during lockdown last year, um, that just wasn't really possible. So so it's nice to be with my dancers to film stuff with people in it. Like I obviously just want to get people in it because I miss being around people all the time and that stuff. Um <laughs> so um, but yeah, it's been it's been so amazing because it's been such a like level up for me as an artist like I feel like I finally like have found my like visual uh kind of uh strong points like where where I'm where I'm good where I you know what I want to be good at and what I want out there um so yeah it's it's just been I've just been working on leveling up as an artist you know and leveling up on doubling up on choreo and uh kind of the full pop star fantasy because that's what I've always wanted to do and I'm so happy I finally get to do it so it's been a lot of prepping a lot of you know fitting a lot of rehearsing all of that stuff um always given the pop star fantasy and I know you like mentioned your (laughs) album like and it's you're finishing it up But when do you know, like in this process, like how do you know when your project is finished? Like what goes into that decision? Um, I I try to not like lock out any opportunity for new songs ever until it's too late. And probably my label hates this, but it's just like, I constantly like to make music. You know, I love to be in the studio constantly and I can't help but try to beat out the songs like the longer uh the album isn't released because I just I I never want to stop writing I I love just constantly being in the studio so uh who knows until it's a release date like I could still change it tomorrow and be like this all of this is out and I'm putting these 10 new songs on it so (laughs) wish me luck (laughs) what of like a perfectionist in that way do you do you feel like you really want to make this project more than your other projects that you've released the one that everyone is talking about yeah, for sure. I mean, I've had more time than I've ever had to make an album. It better be banging, you know, it better be really good. Um, uh, and I've, I've never spent that much time in the studio as I have over lockdown. I kind of found like, okay, like this is where I'm most happy. Um, and of course on tour performing and now I miss that so much. But even then, like I would love to have like a studio bus on a tour so I can just constantly write because it just like helps me. Um uh, I don't know, to handle life. I just, I love making the music. So yeah, but I'm a perfectionist in the way that I've wrote, like we probably wrote like 60, 70 songs up to like a hundred. Like I can't, I, I don't even know how many songs would it because we just were like, okay, even if it sucks every day, we're going to like make something. So we stay sane. <laughs> um, uh, and then kind of, you know, the best ideas stayed around and, and the, the bad ones moved to the back. So um, uh, yeah, but it's been interesting also learning to dare to suck, you know, just dare to like, all right, well, I made a shitty mess today and that's all I'm going to do today. And maybe tomorrow I'll feel better about it. Like, I don't know. There's definitely moments like that too, where you're just like, question yourself and everything 
Well, that's so interesting because I'm like out of 60 or 70 songs y'all are just kind of like throwing out there and making, how are you finding all the inspiration there? Is it like from personal experiences from your life or and the like people around you? Like, how are you finding all of this inspiration for that many like songs? It's yeah, wild. well, well, that I, I kind of see that as like my life goal is to always like and my job is how to stay inspired and this is something hard to figure out because like for me sometimes it's completely different things like sometimes I gotta go in nature and talk to nobody for a couple of days you know sometimes I need space sometimes I am around my friends and we just I don't know get drunk and suddenly someone says something and we're like that's a song and we go up to the studio and we record it and um so it can kind of happen all kinds of ways but for me it's always been uh movies and shows and I I, I love animes so I watch a lot of those and um yeah I, I kind of feel inspired by that and sometimes I go through something personally that I that I then kind of emphasize and make more dramatic and kind of um, create like how it felt for me around it or make it a more intense emotion or how I wanted it to feel. Um, so it always depends on the song, but I try to just do something every day that helps me be inspired in, in any direction. If it's putting on an outfit, putting on a face, changing my hair, like sometimes that can, you know, just like make me feel like I want to be creative. Um, uh, to watching a movie or a show or a musical or reading a book. Yeah. yeah I think mean, because it seems like this process of making this album specifically, it seems like it's taught you a lot about yourself in, in many ways. What, what are some of the things that popped up for you? Um, I mean, for me, it's, I'm just such an anxious kind of person. I always want to be doing and working on everything, you know, and I always want to get it done quick. I'm very about efficiency. And, uh, but sometimes you got to give you give yourself the time to really get to the songs that really are, you know, connecting with you. And sometimes you may not find it in the first 20 and then you change direction and you just try something that you think is off going to be awful. And then you listen to it the next day and it's like, oh, this is actually cool. And this inspires me to go in this direction. So just like patience, um, I think just patience and trusting the process and liking the process. I think it was, the, yeah, yeah it, it, it was kind of one of the first times where I just, I, I wanted to, you know, I wasn't thinking like, oh, I'm going to have to shoot the video and then I have to do this. And like now, now, now it, it was just kind of like, uh, I enjoy being in the studio and making this music. And I, I want that joy to jump out at you when you listen to it, you know, and I want to make what I really want to hear. And I want every second of it to be exactly what I want to experience. So it's been, it's been really cool as a songwriter to give myself more time and to, um, yeah, not have all these things going on. I think in the future, I'm going to take little trips and little breaks where I, where I write my stuff instead of kind of just like, now you're going from here, from here, then to the studio and then blah, 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 you're flying to there, you know? Um, well, I think prioritizing, like prioritizing the time you put into the music has been really important to me. Like, yeah. That's so powerful to say because I'm like, your star is rising. And like, I feel like when that happens, more Both yours. <laughs> On like your sound and they have more opinions about who you're working with like how are you taking all of that in with like understanding maybe some of the critiques but then also yeah making sure that you are kind of ignoring it and not letting it get in the way can it be difficult for you in that way um for sure I mean I have my moments where something affects me and where I read something that's like oh this person just thinks I'm the most horrible piece of shit and on the planet but I've realized just that I I can't change that and also that's just not for me to do like I want people to make their opinions about me I can't tell people what to think about me you know no one no one can you know like I'm I'm not in control of the narrative like you are you say about me whatever you want but I'm still gonna you know focus on being passionate and being an, a good person and helping my friends and uh just things that make me feel like a good human and you know I'm just gonna uh, put all my effort into just, you know, keeping, staying creative instead of letting it get to me and, you know, giving up because I've done this my entire life. I've been writing since I was like 12 years old in my mom's bedroom and, uh, you know, then, then um, kind of got good myself. And that's how I came into the artist world is by being a songwriter and writing for other people. And I just, I, I love songs. I, 
love them so passionately and they mean meant the world to me as as a child up to now my whole life just um you know I just try to focus on those things the things that make me happy I try to just fill my life with as much passion and inspiration as possible and try to just let you decide what you want to think about me you know because I don't think I need yeah, to talk you can't worry about it you really can and it, it <laughs> yeah I just, I'm happy that it seems like you're just very grounded in that. Like, you're just like, I can't worry about that mess. This just comes with the territory. Yeah, for sure. And like, let's be like, I love a mess too. You know, like I, it keeps, it keeps things exciting. You know, like I, you know, I, I certainly, you know, can't please everybody, but it also kind of comes with the territory. Like I'm trans, like some people are offended just that I am trans and, you know, just don't know how to deal with that. Like, I might have, you know, opinions on songs that people don't agree with, opinions on movies that people don't agree with. And, um, you know, but I, I just got to make what I want to make and let that speak for itself. So let's keep this conversation moving on because ha, I really ha, want to talk about another big moment that is coming up for you. Coachella, your first time ever performing. How do you feel? Seriously, I know, like, if it was me, I know I would be nervous. Oh, I'm, I'm so nervous. I mean, I first of all, never been because I was always like, I have to go as an artist for the first time. So that worked out. Thank God. Um, but I, uh, I'm just in the middle of like planning the stage, going through the set, adding things to do that are going to be epic. And that I'm really excited about thinking of picking the songs that no one's heard, picking the songs that people have heard and just, it's going to be like a one-time performance that I'm only going to do, I mean, twice because it's two weekends, but, <laughs> um, but I'm going to, uh, yeah, just make the Coachella set its own thing. And I'm not going to perform it anywhere else the same way. And just going to make a little Coachella special appearance, which I'm super stoked about. Oh, wait, gonna, like, take requests from fans. Like, cause I know your fans yeah. are like, they're like, girl, yeah, of course. All day. I mean, I, can I get a little hint? Like, is there any songs that we could expect for your Coachella set list? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I I have a project that kind of just, I started teasing uh, a little bit that's going to be out by the time of Coachella. And I'm probably going to gonna do a little that, um, which is exciting because um, no one's really expecting it and no one even knows it's coming. So yay uh, <laughs> but also i mean i i'm gonna do the classics i'm gonna do some stuff from the little neon head era uh hillside boys and that stuff's always going to be on the set list but i just i kind of want to dig out some songs that haven't gotten the love they necessarily deserved and also i think i'm going to try to uh you know do some remix action because like i really want people to jump you know i really want i really want to just have the best time in the desert and get really sweaty and just make everybody jump and go crazy so uh yeah definitely adjusting adjusting it to be coachella you know vibes yeah because with coachella <laughs> Every, like great collaboration are you eyeing like somebody to come join you as a secret like you know moment? Mm. I, I've thought about it. Yes, I, I I am thinking about it. I'm reaching out to people. I, I don't know yet if anything's going to work out. So fingers crossed. I always, you know, uh, there's some girlies I really love and that I really am a big fan of that I would love to share the stage with uh, for Coachella. Um, I mean, I'm all about I'm all about pop music. I'm all about, you know, all of that all about the girls in music. Uh, so <laughs> I would I would love it to be one of the girlies. Yeah. No, I love that. That's really exciting. Even like for your album, if we're going back to like your album that, I mean, hopefully it's coming out very, very soon. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It I is. Know Chris is like a collaborator. Is there any other like that you've really gotten to experience being like, oh my God, I cannot believe that I'm like collaborating with these people on my album that's about to come out. I am still reaching out to people, just trying to get it. People locked in. So yeah, uh, for sure. Like they're, they're at this moment there, there's Paris, but there's, uh, yeah, there's not really, really much other collaboration going on, which is cool. Is that by choice? But no, definitely not. Uh, Who doesn't say yes to Kim Petras? <laughs> there's people. <laughs> yeah, and that and that's fine. I mean, it's like at the end of the day, you know, I just want to make my own uh, 
my own music anyways. And I don't think I need it, but there's just some songs that I'm still hoping, like hopefully it works out, but I'm trying, I'm, I'm reaching out. I'm not being like lazy and not trying to have collabs. Cause I I need, collab. if they're watching this, I need them to go ahead and say yes, because what are they doing? Yeah, please. It's such a huge pop culture moment. For sure. Please girl, just, just do it. Well, I love chatting with you. You're just so yeah. amazing. And I'm honestly so proud of everything that you've been accomplishing. Like it's Thank you. beautiful to watch your star rise in the way that it is. And I can't wait to have this album and play it on loop 24 seven. Yes. I just want you to invite me to the release party. That's all I'm saying. I just okay. Wanna- okay. Done. I mean, absolutely done. Let's I hope I'm. Look, I, I want to go look with you and like take some pictures and be cute. Okay. Hot. Look, done. <laughs> That's absolutely done. If right. we are allowed to have a party. <laughs> <If Yeah>. <laughs> Fingers <laughs> crossed. We can, we can Zoom party. Uh, yes. We can get dressed up. <laughs> so down. Poor, co- like, you know, poor little something something. Mm. Um, I'm Ryan Mitchell. And uh, honey, this is Kim Petras. And that is your Odyssey check-in. And yeah, we love you. Bye. I love you so much. Bye-bye.